Hey, what's going on with y'all, man? It's Black Balloon, and I'm coming back with another video, so y'all already know what's going on. All right, y'all, as y'all can tell by the title of this video, we're back at it with basically the part two to Pimp C in light of a bunch of news that's been coming out about his death and what people close to him think really happened to him. Now, in this video, I got the interview from his cousin, which by now, I think a lot of y'all have already seen, but y'all already know I couldn't let this video get past me, considering that this was actually the first video that made my channel go viral in a sense. I think before I did the Pimp C video a couple of years ago, I didn't even have 10,000 subs, but I think this was the video that got me to that milestone of 10K subs on YouTube. Y'all already know we had to come back and get a video, a deep dive going into what's been going on lately as far as the story that his cousin told and a couple other people that were, you know, close to Pimp C and really just dive deep into what they say the scene actually looked like, meaning his death scene. So y'all already know we got those clips. We're going to talk about them. We're going to go over them in depth, let y'all know what I really think about it. Of course, I want to hear y'all opinions at the end of this video. I think this would be a really good video to do. Um, I've been waiting to get this video done, so I was kind of excited to bring it to the channel just because, once again, it's kind of nostalgic, you know, because this was the very first, even this picture right here, this picture, I think, was the thumbnail of that video, you know? So it's just like, you know, we got to get into it. I kind of get excited when we get to talking about Pimp C because it's one of the biggest mysteries out there. But in this video, we get a lot closer to what we believe you know, his death actually was and how he actually died. So with that being said, y'all, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna jump into this first clip. So check this out. You just sent me a picture. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna I'm a post this picture because this is a good picture. We're gonna put this picture inside the interview. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna show it to my wife. Aww. You know what I'm saying? This is vicious. Bundy was supposed to be here. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? But he had to go take care of family emergency. Yeah. This was Bundy's uh, rap partner, the ex mom. You know what I'm talking about? Mm hmm. And that's Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who's Buddy? Okay. When y'all when y'all ask me who is Buddy, so tell me about Buddy. Can you. Buddy, the nigga who killed my cousin. You got that from a reliable source. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What did you hear? So the story I heard, it was multiple people inside the hotel room. Um, female, I think maybe it'd be a male and another male probably. So Super tight exclusive. So C went to the restroom and Buddy said, look, y'all don't tell, don't say nothing. I'm going to play a joke on Pimp. And he poured something into his drink. And when he came back from the restroom, he started drinking it and almost immediately started throwing up blood. And what made me believe that, I packed C bags after he passed. From that same hotel? From that bro. same hotel. I pulled back the cover of the bed and there was blood in the bed. Mm. So that's what made me believe that story to be true. Now, uh, we talked about this prior to us cutting on the cameras. And I never talked about it outside of saying, buddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this guy was from Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to mention anybody that was around him that knew him in Jackson, Mississippi. We'll just concentrate on him. Yeah. And like you and I said that you had heard the same thing, that he was going around bragging. Yep. That he had done this. Yep. What? Yes. In the streets of Jackson. And and I heard it from someone who at one point really didn't know I was even affiliated with Pimp, but we were associated through a former organization I was with. Yes. And we just got to talk and he said, Hey man, what's up with Buddy? And I was like, uh, I've heard this and heard that. It's like, man, well, what you heard is true, because I'm from Jackson. Yes. And that's how that went. 
And he said that he had heard the rumors of him going through or he had witnessed him. He had heard it. Mm. Yeah. And, so, and there was nothing found. That's what I was, that, that's my, because my wife, wife is a nurse now. Mm-hmm. You know, and she's going to ask some medical questions. And what she's asking is, what no traces of that found in the, uh, what do you call it, autopsy or the, uh, what's the thing called? When toxicology. You, toxicology report. So, no and why. I think what messed it up, and I'm going to just say it like this. Yes. People did so much maneuvering around the, out, the autopsy to protect what was they might have thought was going to show up. So that kind of oh, cha- changed the outcome of what really was came out. In other words, they weren't looking for that. They wasn't looking for that. Found small traces of that. Mm-hmm. Not enough. They did say it wasn't enough to kill. Now y'all do know they said it wasn't enough to kill him. Yeah. And and he had a prescription for that. And they tried to blame it on sleep apnea. Yeah. And them both is what took him out. Is what the yeah. uh, coroner's report said. But you know, Mama, Mama died saying my baby was poisoned with cyanide. Mm. Mm. Her wish was to raise up enough money to have the body. Exhumed. exhumed yes to do a, her own independent one but she died for having that feeling let me ask you a well, question and after so long you won't find something yes, that, that's what i'm about to ask my wife mm. yeah mm. unless you looking for that no i'm just saying no, no just saying. if they exhume the body now it's just too late you probably won't find it it's 15 years later because it's hard to find just regularly so golly mm. yeah Wow. No, that come from uh, apple seeds. Hmm. A natural source. Mm-hmm. That's why you ain't supposed to grind up apple seeds in your smoothies. Kill yourself. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. So you're teaching me something. So, you know, I you know I make jokes all the time, try to make light, you know, because, you know, I get on people's pages, you know, and I, I mean, I, because, you know, we love them. Yeah. And, you know, with this Tupac situation going on with Keefy D, Mm -hmm. you know, I was like, man, they need to be trying to solve. Yeah, that same day, because that was his release party. Yes. And when I talked to him, he had just left Three Six Mafia House. And he had learned a program or something on a computer. Yeah. And he's like, hey, I'm about to step on their necks with this. And that's all we talked about. He was in good spirits. He was having fun. Yes. And so when I, I I'll probably have to send you this picture too. C used to always get on me about burning candles and not putting them out while I go to sleep. And for that, I get on my wife as well. Yeah. <laughs> about oh, I'm get paranoid about leaving a candle burn. Yes. So he always got on me about that. So when I packed his bags, the first thing I saw, two things I saw. The first thing was the candle had burned completely down. I heard about this too. The second thing, his bag was packed neatly. Hmm. Hmm. Did, did that sound like C? No. <laughs> no. No. Now, first thing to note about the guy that's talking, which is Pimp C's cousin, is that he's a supposedly, allegedly, an ex Freemason and he denounced the cult. He denounced belonging to the Freemasons. Now, I didn't feel the need to put that in this video of him talking about it, because that's not, you know, it's not what we're here to talk about. It's just something to note. Throughout those clips y'all just watched, they unearthed a lot of truth about his death, because they told us a couple things that we had no idea about. And they even said it themselves, almost nobody knew that there was other people in the hotel with Pimp C. Now, in my first video, they um, remember DJ Paul confirmed that Pimp C last place he left was his house he was with three six mafia remember dj paul um said he got i think he got his driver to drop him off which would mean when pimp c got to the room he was at there was already people there or you know he met people there it's clear his cousin said there's either a guy and a female or two guys and a female so he was not alone his cousin was not there he's telling you a story that he heard so still at the end of the day there's questions about what actually went down. The guy Buddy, which was the dark-skinned dude in the pic, it just sounded like he said he was ex-mob, meaning 
sound like he said he belonged to, you know, rap a lot and Jay Prince and them, but I, I couldn't really make it out if that's actually what he was saying. They don't necessarily clarify. But we're going to get into Jay Prince and all that a little bit more, too, because he's tied to the story. They said, you know, the cousin is saying that they told him the guy said he was playing a joke on him. And he poured something in his drink. And then right after that, Pimp C immediately started coughing up blood. Now, he confirmed that there was blood there. You know, I think we got that from multiple sources that he pulled the covers back and there was blood, which would, you know, make sense of a poisoning. But what don't make sense is someone telling you that this guy played a joke on him, poured something in his drink. They allowed him to pour it in the drink. Pimp C drunk that drink and immediately started coughing up blood on his way to his death, which they say, I don't even think it's clear of how long he was actually in the hotel room dead. So that goes with the scene of his cousin saying that Pimp C don't pack nothing neat. And that the candles burnt all the way down, which he used to get on his cousin for not um, for letting the candles burn for too long. So that is the inside story of the whole candle thing, because we talked about that in the first video as well, as far as the candle being completely burned out and how long he was actually there. So it definitely says that the scene was staged because remember, I think they put him in praying position. So everything was staged. His bag was packed neatly. The candles had burned completely. You know, this was deeper than just someone who was assigned to poison Pimp C. It was still done in a ritualistic way. He was still sacrificed. The possible culprits are Jay Prince and Jay Z. We're going to go into that a little bit more when we jump into these next clips. Y'all note that the guy who supposedly did it said he's from Jackson, Mississippi. He went around claiming that, you know, like claiming it, bragging about it. And he ended up dying a death that was worse than Pimp C's. That's who they was talking about. If y'all didn't catch the context, he was grinded up, like rolled over in like one of a construction type of machine. So he died a horrible death. And, they, and then they said they think um, his brother died almost the same way. The guy that supposedly killed Pimp C or was responsible for poisoning him. Because if this was done by higher up people with more money, i.e. Jay-Z, Jay Prince, people with power, they would have had to get close to him somehow. It wasn't just going to be something where you walk up and, and shoot him in the head. You know, like they did a very good job of, remember, they said about, you know, the whole autopsy and stuff. They, they, they got it towards sleep apnea and, and lean. That's what they found. They didn't want to tell you they found cyanide and he was poisoned because... That's not how these, you know, industry hits. That's not how these rituals work. And they're not going to tell you the truth of how he died. Then you're going to know it's foul play. They want to tell you he died naturally of a of sleep apnea, you know, uh, or something like that. Had a little bit of lean. But then they went on and said that he had some lean in his system, but it wasn't enough that killed him. And that's why they went away from it being anything else. They want they wanted people to think that he died from what he was going through. So if you think about that. You know, everything we, we talked about and stuff in the first video, I would say still stands. But the cousin, you know, and the guy Bobo, they're giving us stuff that we've never heard that really just confirms what we already thought and how Pimp C actually died. Remember this era we in with these podcasts and so on. These people are talking. It's either because they just trying to get content out and they, they willing to, to let some of this truth out or... You know, some of the stuff really, to be honest, especially with the guy with the beard, the older dude, not the cousin, he beats around the bush on a lot of stuff. They know, you know, they know who are responsible for letting it happen. You know, as in Jay Prince, Jay Z, they're, they're just not willing to say those names because these guys was connected to the industry. You know, obviously they were around Pimp C. I think old dude was like a DJ radio type dude for a long time. They know exactly how it happened, but the other dude on his on his some of his stuff, he just beats around it a lot, talks in cold a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know, but these people talking and they telling the truth. You know, the truth always gonna come to the surface, always gonna come to the light, and that's what I think is going on right here. So, um, that's all I pretty much wanted to play from the cousin. Because he really gives us some details, you know, and um, now 
we'll go into a little bit more about the funeral of Pimp C and a little bit more about Jay Prince and Jay Z and their connection to it. So check this out. That funeral? Man, you know the cra- the craziest thing about that funeral, right? The funeral was big. Yeah. But nobody talk about when we went and viewed the body. Yeah. Only a hundred people was involved. In the- man, Pimp C head was this big. Stop it, man. Are you serious? Man, it was this big, dog. I mean, you know. He was darker too. Hey, two two. And he hey, was darker. His, he was darker his too. lips was looked like plastic. His, his whole face. So too short looking at me. We looking at each other like you know. And everybody just looking at each other like crap. We couldn't even believe the shit we Bro, were the seeing. the casket was so heavy. Dog, oh, that nigga. How they, how they made us carry that casket was w- once we pulled up to the uh, cemetery area, we had to carry. You remember we had to carry it to that. Uh, bro, it was a long walk. They didn't have nothing we could push, push on. We had on to and carry it. that thing. And we was talking about Chad laughing at us. He left because we were struggling carrying it. And so... Um, about a couple of weeks later, we get the word that he's called somebody in Houston to put a hit on Pimp Life. You know, so a real hit man. So, uh, yeah, that's why you say, yeah. yo niggas weak, so you call Houston for the hit. Yeah, yeah. And, what, and, and and so how did how did you guys defuse it? Let's go all the way through it. Well, um, some way, somehow, I don't. I'm not gonna say that Jay Prince was affiliated. The story I got from Chad was the dude came to Jay Prince to get permission to kill Chad. Right? Damn. And Jay Prince like, no, nah, nigga, that's you know, we got a lot of money on the line. This is my guy. And they gaffled him up. So yeah. they gaffled up the nigga who posted did the hit. Yeah, made the phone call and told because he told you know, who did the hiring. They sent for Ron to come to Houston. Ron come to Houston. They had a sit down. Mm-hmm. I don't know what was all I wasn't there yeah. You know what I'm saying So I don't know what was all done At the sit down If it was money exchange If it was Now nah, nigga get the fuck out of here This PMC You know You don't want no pro- I don't know what, what happened But from what I understand It was It was squashed mm-hmm. Until We had a show Now I didn't want to continue Playing the rest of That clip Because He literally started Talking in circles And You could tell He was really just not trying to tell you what really was going on. Even people in the comments was like, yo, I listened to this three to four times and I still can't put together what he's talking about. You know, so it gets to a point where, you know, like kind of like I said in my last talk after the cousin Edgar spoke about Pimp C, right? It gets to a point where these people are still dealing with and still around and still have connections to the people that were responsible for setting up his death, which is why Bobo won't actually say what he truly knows. Even with the cousin, his, you know, I'm assuming his first cousin that was telling the story in the beginning, they even said there was things that they talked about off camera, they talk about to each other that they won't actually say to the public which is why I said they know exactly what happened to us. We still have questions on what really happened. Even the cousin, like I said, remember, he was not there. He was told the story of how the guy Buddy supposedly poisoned him. So, as you know, it's why I didn't want to keep playing what Bobo was talking about, because literally y'all could go search it up and listen for yourself and you're not going to get nowhere. He just, he starts with a point and then the other two would interrupt him. They'll start talking about little side stuff and he'll never get back to what he was about to say. But this is why I tied Jay Prince and Jay-Z to it. Jay-Z is tied to it. Oh, I, I never actually said why he was tied to it, but Pimpin' Ken said that Pimp C was in possession of a sex tape between Jay-Z and Beyonce. I ain't gonna say who it is, but it's a real famous rapper and it's a real famous R&B chick, okay? Yeah. Pimp had a naked, he had a recording of them. I think he died with it, but he could he could have made millions of dollars. And and some of the people that's higher up in rap, if they would have seen that tape, you know what I'm saying? Me, it you think that Kim Kardashian shit was something? Yeah, this would have blew it out the window. Man, this shit was this this I just I'm gonna do I'm, for, use your imagination. The biggest R and B chick in the game. I already wow. know who it is. And one of the biggest rappers, you know what I'm saying? That made the most money in the game. And they wasn't supposed to be together. 
Or, or they were together and nobody knew it. They still together now. Are they still together now? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jay-Z gets tied to the sacrifice because he died on his birthday. And supposedly there was a sex tape that Pimp C was in possession of that Jay-Z would have never allowed to get out. Now, it's a rumor. It's not nothing that's confirmed to be true. And a couple of sources have said it, but Pimp and Ken, the guy that was talking about the funeral of Pimp C, he said it himself. And speaking of the funeral, y'all remember they said Pimp C's head was swollen. It was so swollen that he was almost unrecognizable. They said his lips looked like plastic. The casket was very heavy, which is like an old saying of when somebody died and their casket heavy, it means someone one of the pallbearers is one of the people that has something to do with it. Now, I'm not completely sure why his body would have looked that way because the body is not supposed to be that swollen after they die. I'm not sure if that was results of the poisoning or something like that. I'm not sure. Or, or was he beat to a pulp? You know, did he actually die just from poisoning? Did he get beat? I'm not sure about that. You know, if y'all know a little bit more than me on why his head and lips would have looked like plastic and swollen, let me know. But he said, Bobo said him and Too Short was looking at each other like, yo, what is this? Why does his body look like this? But this is Pimp C. His death is, is very deep. And it's a case of the people who were in charge of making it happen are still alive. They still have power. And I definitely believe Jay-Z and Jay Prince had a hand in it. Remember, he said... Jay Prince at first was like, nah, I'm not letting you do uh, pull the hit on Pimp C. I got money in this, blah, blah, blah. Then he said, until a show. Now, I stopped it right there because he never finished it. After he said it changed when they did a show, he never finished it. He never got to the point. That That's why, that's why I said they're still connected and probably afraid of these people. You know, Jay Prince, maybe he got that much power going on in Houston or wherever, wherever. You know, Charleston White be going off on them boys like they are nothing. Nigga, I said, fuck Houston Police Department. I said, fuck Jay Prince. And I said, fuck Houston. So who knows what all that is? But this is why I said his, his, his death is very industry, very, very industry. Surrounded by, you know, power players. You know, people who can get stuff like that done, twist the autopsy, do all that kind of stuff. And it never not, you know, the truth never actually get out there unless someone who had direct, you know, involvement in it comes out and says it. But his death is very deep. I think it's one of the most mysterious in rap history. To this day, we're still talking about it. And in 2022, 2023, people around him still talking about it. It'll never get old because until the truth is completely told, it'll never get old. <laughs> that rhymed. I ain't even try to do that. <laughs> but that's the real of it. Now, do I believe he had a sex tape of Jay-Z and Beyonce? I don't know. I don't know. But I believe Jay-Z was definitely tied into it because it was, it was well known that he didn't like Jay-Z, even though they had that song together, Big Pimpin'. I think he also had a little beef with Master P as well. So, you know, it's definitely a good group of people that he didn't really vibe with. That's pretty much, I listened to a lot of other stuff that had to do with this, but none of it I wanted to really put in here because like I said, these, these dudes really beat around the bush. They talk in circles because they're not trying to, you know, get under the people who was really responsible for this. You know, because it's, it's so old, you've been dead for so long. You know, I think a lot of them are just talking. And I'm not talking about his cousin. I, I feel like his cousin is telling the truth. I could feel it when he was talking about Pimp C. He really, you know, wants to know what happened. And I'm pretty sure he does, but he gave off those vibes of, like, this is real for me. That was my family. So, yeah, man, y'all already know what's going on, man. I, um, I really wanted to get that video up on the channel. Y'all let me know what y'all think. You know, it's still, it's, there's still questions, y'all. It's, it's not figured out just because they came out, they told us a little bit more. It's still not completely solved. You know, it may not ever be. You know, and we know when the devil's in the details and it gets deep, dark, and evil like that, sometimes we never find the truth. And we just got to settle with what we know to be true. And we know the truth is not what they told us.
Yeah, man. So y'all already know what's going on, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Any future suggestions y'all got that y'all want to see on the channel, please be sure to let me know. Y'all can hit me on Instagram through DMs. Y'all can let me know in the comments because I'm always checking them. And yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. So with that being said, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. It's Black Balloon, and I'm going to see y'all soon. I'm out.